what up guys Noi here um so today's video is going to be an unboxing of something i think i've just been really just been so busy with artwork that i haven't had um time to kind of look through all the stuff that i purchased recently i bought a lot of stuff i'm always buying stuff it's um it's a it's an issue it's an issue <laughs> but um yeah i have a few things i bought i'm just gonna unbox one thing because um not this, but I just want to show you things that I've that I purchased recently. This is this egg attack? I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this thing before. They're called egg attack action beast kingdom um, figures. This is a Spider-Man. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Uh, I'll probably I probably won't do an unboxing of that. It's kind of just a figure that's n nobody really cares about these things. I don't think. But that's one thing. I also bought this tracer figure on a sale i think it was like half off or something like that so i figured i'd i'd pick it up why not i already have the uh the widow maker i have it right beside me right here i thought it's um seems a, it seemed appropriate to kind of have a, a tracer so i love this figure a lot and my buddy arnold uh he's the uh the designer of these things he works for uh blizzard as a creative director I believe. I think he's still there. I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't spoken to him for a while. Um, and also, I bought this. I'm really excited about this. This is the Woozier, Woozier vest. And I got this for like 40% off. They sent me a, a VIP coupon or something like that because I bought the strap, the, um, the Woozier strap. It's just like a belt and it rumbles. And um, it sucks. <laughs> I sold it, but I guess they had me on email, so they decided to send me a coupon. And I've always wanted to try the vest. I hear that out of the two, um, if you wanted to kind of get the full experience, you go with the vest because it has, um, it doesn't just have one source of vibration. It's got like them all over the place. But uh, yeah, I mean, upon researching it, I, I noticed that um, dusty, that it's not that great. So. It's not like, I want to use it for, I have the Oculus Quest, that's what I want to use it for. And uh, there's a boxing game on there that I love uh, a lot. So I wanted to kind of replicate that, where if, if the NPC would like throw a left hook to your, your ribs, you'd feel it. But the, the vest, you're not going to get that with the vest apparently. It's just, um, it just kind of rumbles throughout the entire thing. So it's, it's not as accurate. Um, there's another, device out there that's a vest that kind of simulates that more but it has less of a kick i can't remember what the the, the name of that is but i um, curious to try that out but like from what i hear the um it's it's not as hard hitting as, as this vest the woozer vest so it's a trade-off this is more for music from what i hear so you'd use this for music because you get the it's like standing next to a subwoofer or something like that but um, i'll probably do an unboxing of that later i'm not going to do that right now but um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to open this tracer. Now, there's two versions. Um, I hope I got the better one. They revised it because of the mouth apparently looked kind of weird. I'm going to put this aside so I don't knock it over. Yeah, so I'm hoping I got the second revised version, but we'll see. Anyway, let's open this thing up. Yeah, I went through this buying spree where I just bought everything I saw online that had a, you know, something that had anything more than a 30% off sticker on it. And this was one of them. I got this for a, a really good price. It's still expensive as hell, but these things are pretty premium, so. Oh my God. All right. I mean, the packaging is very nice. The box is corrugated cardboard. Uh, very awesome. This logo actually bothers me quite a bit because I do a lot of vectorizing. I draw a lot in Illustrator. And see that there? That little tip of the hair there? That's like an error. That's a, that's a bad vector drawing. <laughs> I hope the audio is coming out uh, proper. 
Also, just like 10 minutes ago, this came in the mail. I bought fake tattoos. It's supposed to look like super realistic, but um, I've always wanted to get tattoos like on my arm, but I have uh, issues with commitment. There's a certain permanence, permanence, is that a word? Uh, to tattoos that, that really freak me out. So what I wanna do is um, I wanna stick a whole bunch of them on my arm and on my body to see how I feel about it. And after like a couple weeks, if I like it, I'll probably go out and get the real thing. Plus I kind of want to design it. So, and I haven't had time to design much because I've been so busy working. So that's another issue too. But at the end of the day, I was thinking about this. I get so tired of my own design that I may just, I just, I may just get somebody else to design it for me. That way I kill two birds with one stone. I don't have to work on it. I can keep working on my own artwork and uh, get this tattoo thing going. All right. Okay. There's like cords for something. Like there's an adapter and cords. I guess there's something that lights up on her. I'm probably never gonna use that. I don't, I'm not into figurines that light up, to be honest. Unless this is amazing, then I'll, I might use it, I don't know. But yeah, what I like about these figures is um, the stand is so heavy and robust and they look so awesome. Uh, okay, I see what's going on. It looks like the stand lights up because that I, I can clearly see that see-through and there's a, a battery door there, I think, looks like. Yeah, the stand is like so heavy. This alone is like a couple pounds. It's amazing. You could you know, get a good workout just by curling that. But um, what I really care about is the figure itself. Right now, all of my... Um, business partners or coworkers, I should say, they're in New York. They're at a show. It's an NFT show. And if you don't know, I do artwork for um, an NFT gaming company. And we have our, uh, it's awesome because I, she texted me this morning um, a picture of uh, Times Square, you know, the billboards and stuff like that. We have a few ads running. Well, not really ads, just a few artwork, pieces of artwork. And it's so cool seeing my artwork up there. It's just, I'm just blown away. Um, I kind of regret not going, to be honest. I really wanted to go. This figure is amazing. I think I got the revised one because the mouth on the old one I hear looked really weird. It was a kind of, it went to a point and it looked really strange, but this is awesome. This looks so freaking good. Like you guys tell me, is this the new one or is this the old one? I don't know, it looks awesome. So I'm thinking it's the revised one, which I'm super happy about. And this figure looks a lot better than I thought it would look, to be honest. It looks sick, I know she doesn't have arms right now. Those things come separately. So I'm super happy I picked this up because I was nervous. I was nervous, I was like, man, I really don't want the junky one but this is awesome. This is looking so good right now. I'm a huge um, fan of the artwork for Overwatch. It's um, similar to how I draw, I think. Not similar to how I draw, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't insult Arnold like that, but it's um, a, a similar style to kind of what I try to go for when I do drawings. Kind of anime, kind of American. I think that's his background as well. So I admire him a lot, he's, he's amazing. He does, his animations are just absolutely incredible. This looks so freaking good. Like, oh my God, that pose is so awesome. And I know I've seen it, I've seen it online before, but man, it's, it's really different when you see it in person. Pew pew. That's awesome, man. It's so cool. 
My battery's dying, I'm gonna stop it and then I'm gonna return right back. Um, anyway, I'm back and uh, a lot of junk right now in my room. I gotta clean up, but it comes with this thing. I guess that's her like freaking the trail that she leads. I don't know how that goes on. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Um, there's a little socket or a stand here. I'm kind of nervous <laughs> because that's kind of, I don't know. It doesn't look too uh, secure. Oh man, this is scary. But anyway, this is cool. I like it. It looks so nice. Like I'm so happy I bought this and I'm almost 100% that this is the revised version for sure. It looks so good. I'm trying to get it to focus properly. I mean, look at that thing. Beauty shot. Um, that's her turned around. This thing looks like it goes bleep, right into the back and onto the stand. So let's, um, let's get this thing off the desk. Oh no, I'm gonna put her right beside good old widow, widow maker, window maker. She makes windows. Just get a size comparison. I might have to pick up another one after this if it ever goes on sale. Um, I feel compelled to finish my collection now. But the problem is, do I have space for all this stuff? Because these figurines are huge. So that's the two side by side. Very awesome, I love it. I really wanted to get the Diva, but that um, can't find it anywhere. And to be honest, it's quite ginormous. I don't know if I'd have a, a proper place to put it anyway. Let me, um, let me show you where I put these things. I wonder, nah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't pick it up like that. That's crazy. Um, anyway, yeah, very cool. I dig it. Looks good. Good purchase. Very nice figure. Okay, I guess that's it. Um, I gotta get back to work. Okay, bye guys. All right guys, I lied, I'm back. Uh, just quickly, I put her on the stand and she's awesome, it looks so cool. I mean, that's what she looks like right there. Actually, I'm gonna take a product showcase off. Is it off? I don't even know. This Widowmaker, this good old riding right there. And this is the way I have it set up on my uh, bookshelf right now with a bunch of stupid things, books, reference, and um, a dinosaur. And right next to it is my Transformers uh, figures. These are awesome, I love these so much. Easily the most detailed and best movie representation uh, representations ever of these figures. They're freaking incredible. I love them so much. And now I have these. I also have a Captain Marvel, a Hot Toys Captain Marvel that I want to unbox. I purchased that like over a year and a half ago and uh, still have yet to unbox it. So maybe I'll do that next time. We'll see. Anyway, really, this is the, this is the real goodbye. I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.